Hi Bruce from Safari and uh, look it's a big day for us today. This is our final test board. Everything's functioning well for our Safari integrated digital switching. So let's just show you what we've got on the test board here. Uh, this is the actual digital switch device and I'm going to show you how the fusing works in a minute. And you can see the little green LEDs on on the outputs that are on here. And then it comes with these harnesses and I've stuck to black and white here. They're the official colours of Garmin. So we've added even this little white clip in here you don't normally find and I've got white cabling coming out of here and it comes in on this side and they're all marked. You can see here it says channel 14, channel 19 and then uh, they come in with the spades. We just drop them in here. Uh, we put this little red sleeve over because they're uh, all positives. The negatives are behind here and they're all bridged and then your field wiring just comes in to this side of the terminal strip a cover goes on the top and all the labelling goes on. So I don't have the labelling on there yet, should have. And that just goes straight on there. Now we've got a inclimiter down here. We're reading that on the can. And uh, we put a smart shunt down here just to demonstrate to bring it in. And let's walk over to this side here now. So this is our NMEA backbone that we've got for the digital switching at the top. And these are all the connectors. Um, and then we've got Victron Turbo, we've got our lights that we're going to turn on and off. We've got our Scotty 1500, we're talking to it directly over the can. And we've got the Smart Solar here. So the Victron gear is all integrated inside of this. And uh, we've got Scotty into it and we've got the digital switching. So now uh, before I start going through the display, I'll just show you something. I take this off the stand. So this head unit's generally going in the vehicle, but if you've got a caravan, that goes in the back of the caravan and that's running your fusion sound system. So even with this removed, you can go through and adjust the volume, adjust the tracks if you wanted to, and you can do it on the fusion app. And then the tablet here that I've got here, you can take that to the fire, or I've, I've just twisted it, but it can sit, this small bracket here that we're looking at is a magnetic and it's a power bracket, and that's the connector on the back there for the power. So you put that into on a suction cap in the vehicle or you'll put that into the van depending on where this is. So this for the Unimog and the Ocker we're doing, this is in the front of the, uh, of the cab and this is going into the back of the uh, camper. And if we're doing a caravan, this is in the caravan and then this is sitting on the suction cup uh, in the car. And the communication here is Wi-Fi. So here's the unit down here and you can take that by the fire. You can switch everything, see everything, and you can be some distance away. It's not Bluetooth, it's Wi-Fi, so it's quite powerful. And then I just pick that up and put it on that magnetic unit that you can see there. And that's now then powered up in another location. Now, people have asked, can you have two of these? Yes, you can. You can have one here and you can have one there. Um, and this is an eight inch or a 10 inch display. Now, let's have a look at a few other features here. So let's just have a look at the display and the navigation we've got here and the functionality. So we do have most common switches on the front here, but I'm going to take you to all the switches. So if I come through here and I touch the plus, all the switching appears. And let me just uh, turn one on here. And it's come on over here and it's the underbench. And if I just hold this down, it will dim. You can see the percentage uh, changing above my finger there. Uh, that you can see. We also show the power that's being drawn. So I'll just zoom in. You can just see a number one there. We're using one watt at the moment uh, for that light. And then if I touch the other lights, that one now has come on and you can see that's using one watt. And now I've put on the blue light around there and likewise I can put these other lights on. And if uh, I touch the fuse functionality here, this is an incredible feature then any digital fuses that have blown will now appear here. So this is the digital unit here. There isn't any physical fuses. It's a digital, it's a MOSFET control. And these will then go red and you'll know which device is fused and then you can go and attend to it. Now to close the fusing, we just touch down the bottom here and that takes us back to the home page. If we want to look to see what Scotty's doing, we just touch that and it'll give us the alternator, the temperatures, the yield today. We have all that data coming out of it and I just close it up in the top corner. And then likewise with the solar controller down here, if we touch the solar controller, we get all our solar performance that we're getting out of the Victron system. So we have the tanks, and we've got more than the two tanks over here, which touch tanks, it shows you all the tanks. And we've got the fridges coming in that you can see uh, coming in here. And then we've got the inverter uh, power in and power out appearing over there. So you've got everything on the one display that you can see here. 
and uh, the battery voltage, and we're reading the 48 volt battery down here, is being read over the uh, CAN bus. So it's going into Victron and also coming into our system. We're reading everything out of this now in the CAN port on uh, Victron. Now, one of the unique features we've got on the display, which I'm gonna show you now, which is this uh, vehicle chassis model here. Let's just touch it. And what it does is it shows the pitch and roll for airbag control. And we can have double, or we can have driver's side, passenger side, up and down. And let me just move this board and you'll see the inclimiter there on the top move where it's 72 degrees. Because I've mounted the inclimiter vertically here and that's not normally how it's done. Um, and so you can take this tablet off uh, adjust your airbags up and down and you'll see on the tablet when you get it square. Then we've got the total pressure monitoring system which is appearing over here and in this particular board that's going out we don't have the uh, unit plugged in yet but we'll do a demo on that when it comes and here we're going to read up to um, so we've got six in the vehicle and six in the caravan uh, tires that are available to read and they will alarm to you as well and uh, so we just close this in the top right there and we're back to the display. The last thing when we're operational here is we're showing the leaves here, which is going to be a forecast of how many days that you can run totally sustained off the solar and off Scotty. So this side of the screen is all replenishment energy, uh, batteries, and then we've got uh, consumer loads over here and the inverter. And because the inverter is not a sustainable device, um, we've got it down in this part of the display down here. Uh, but these are the important sustainable uh, features over here, including the start battery. So that's the complete walkthrough that we've got running on it. Um, in the Unimog, we've got this digital switching at right angles. It's going to come out of here. It's 250 deep. So it's going to go into a cavity 250 deep, and the actual digital switching will be at right angles coming out of here. Uh, the uh, if for some reason this display goes down, and if you've ordered this backup bulletproof uh, connector here with the little LEDs, I can manually go through these, select the channel, and turn them on and off uh, from this display. So you can see I've selected channel two there now, and so I can now go through and manually turn it on and off uh, from that uh, functionality. And I've got to say, I think that's pretty good. So how good's that?